breathe, let go, and remind yourself that this very moment is the only one you know you have for sure. This is how I ended up booking a one-way flight to Alaska with no plans, no expectations, and only hoped for a memorable time. During the Valdez fly-in, amongst the many beautiful airplanes, I couldn't take my eyes off of the dragonfly. A World War II L-13 modified into an experimental aircraft. Little did I know that I would get invited to fly in it a week later. Hey guys, I'm here in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, today we're gonna go fly the Dragonfly with Chuck. He's gonna give me some lessons on taking off and landings. Let's see how I do. This, this airplane started out as L-13 parts and it has a lot of look of an L-13 but very little of it is um, actual L-13. Um, some of the tube frame, the landing gear are L-13. It has a, um, a modern basically 185 IO 550 in it with 206 exhaust and so it's very modern it has a uh, extended 206 prop that takes the place of the where the geared portion of the Franklin original Franklin in this was so we built it's basically 185 firewall forward and it's all been fit into the original cowling um, so that's one piece. We changed it around to a six-place configuration. When the airplane was built, it only had three seats for um, litters. It was an ambulance plane, and it was uh, it had hatches for doing uh, pamphlet drops. And it actually is kind of an interesting airplane that, in that the wings fold, and that's still in the airplane. You take the, fer the wing root fairings off, and you pull a couple levers, and you put a couple guys on ropes, and the wings fold back under the tail and with 850s on it, smaller tires, the gear folds in and you can turn the gear in. This airplane is kind of odd in that it has VGs on the top and bottom. So the idea here is to prevent a tail stall which allows, you won't be able to hold the wing into a high angle of attack if the tail stalls. So as this comes up, sometimes the air can come and delaminate from the bottom of this. Slots and slats. This is a slat and it does the same thing as a slot. But what it's doing is the same thing as a VG, when the aileron is up, air is caught here and forces the air around the aileron. And the reason they did this is so that the outer wing would always fly. So even if you're in a full stall with the airplane, the ailerons still work. So that's a slat. Up here is a slot. When the wing goes up in angle of attack, the slot then catches air and, and pushes it over the top of the wing so it doesn't delaminate. The inner wing can be stalled and the outer wing will still be flying because of the slot. One of the VGs to be working is um, at takeoff when you're at 20 or 30 degrees flaps. So it allows you to have more flap with less drag and more lift for takeoff. And it did make a big difference, about five knots on takeoff speed. Wow. We'll do a one touch and go. I'll show you what the airplane will do. Okay. And then we'll go out to. Okay, sounds we'll good. Let's around out there and maybe get some gas. We'll see. 312, taxing to 25. Battlecraft, fuel 06. So the marks for the flaps are on the window, and they're not really that visible to you. Uh huh. We'll just have to work together. Okay. All right. You don't have brakes. We'll have to be on it with you because sometimes on takeoff you need a little break to square the airplane up. Okay. Approaching runway 25. Nice day today. It is, isn't it? I think this is the first day I'm seeing sun. 
the day I leave, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Merrill Tower, Dragonfly 312 is ready, 11312 is ready on 25. Dragonfly 11312, Merrill Tower, make right traffic, runway 25, clear for takeoff, 12704. 312, right traffic, clear for takeoff. Approaching runway 25, entered runway 25, 3,700 feet remaining. Merrill altimeter 2966. They got to come back to 2400 so you don't kill everyone on the ground with their ears. Really loud. <laughs> Dragonfly 312 confirm you want a stop and go runway 25? Stop and go and I'll make it quick. Really interesting airplane. Nice. That we <laughs> wow. Sink rate. Sink rate. base turn is approved. Runway 25, clear, touch and go. 950 on base for 25, touch and go. Bird. Very awesome. A little sloppy, but check. How fast of a descent was that? Probably 15 feet a minute. Okay. It's not really going very fast. It's only about 80 miles. It likes 2400 or it vibrates a little. Okay. So that's 20, 2400. Okay. And I cruise at about 22. That gives you about 110 miles an hour. And the tendency in this airplane yeah, is to be way too fast on touchdown because it sinks. Uh -huh. And then you still have so much flying left that it bounces a lot on you. Okay. You don't have this in Florida. We don't. <laughs> you can get a lot of lift just like gliding. Yeah. And speed out of it. So these airplanes pretty much fly by rudder. So if you want to take your relax, it's, this plane isn't as balanced as a Cessna. A Cessna it's either way. Yeah. 180, 206, they're all the same. They're perfectly balanced. So you turn the wings, the rudder follows. This airplane isn't as such, so you want to... Do the, the rudder wings, more? Use the follow, fly with your feet if you're relaxing. So this is Eagle River? Yep. This is the town of Eagle River. When I got here a week ago, everything was still almost frozen. Now it's nice All and green. green. Yep. Birchwood Airport. Automated weather observation. One, niner, five, niner. Zulu. Wind, two, seven, zero, at, zero, four. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Yeah, it's hit midfield. That traffic pattern's on the other side. So we'll have to cross over. Yeah. There's a wind sock favoring one way or the other. Looks like it's either way. See it there in the circle? Yeah. Looks like it's maybe favoring this way. It's with traffic. Dragonfly 11312. It's crossing midfield. We'll enter a left downwind for two. Okay. Here's a walk you through it. Square up a little. We'll give ourselves a little more. We don't have to do that big landing. I was okay. just showing off there at Merrill. Give ourselves a little more room. Okay, that's good. You can come around. So now that's how many degrees? 10 or 20? That's 10. Well, almost, almost 20. I can fly 312 on base for two left, virtually. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go to 35. That should okay. be about right for a first landing. Let's power back. 
Let it fall. Now you can see our speed. We're not like gaining speed. Gotcha. Okay, you try and run the throttle and I'll help you. Okay. Or is it too much? You no, want to just do it? I can do it. All right. It's, it's weird doing it from right seat, but I think... Are you all right? I think I can do it. All right. I could get lined up. Okay. Back off on power all the way. All the way? Yep. Okay. So you're a little fast. You've got to flare all that speed off, right? Okay, back of your seat. You're, you're on that Conrad side of the runway. Yeah, 50, 50, We're going to make left. And you're a little crossways. Zero two left, Birchwood. Rudder. And, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, flare. Start to flare a little. So you don't get caught. Back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Now, feel it. Whoop. Very bumpy. That's not bad. That's a good landing in this airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have brakes. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> and it's so slow, you don't have a lot of rudder control, yeah. right? Yeah. Good job. That's so cool. You kind of feel it? Yeah, I do. That was good. Uh, southwest. Uh, Going to fly over midfield and do a left tier drop into right downwind. You're good. Zero right. Birchwood. Birchwood traffic, this is CAP 5052. We're currently using, I'm using 02. I'm on a left downwind for 02 for a touch and go. Birchwood. Alrighty, I will uh, change it up and follow you in. 2140. Let it down a little bit. You don't need to be that aggressive. Okay, thanks. That's yeah, up. go ahead. Grim. Birchwood traffic, Cessna 21403 is over midfield for 02 left, Birchwood. Dragonfly 312 is on midfield downwind, falling behind the CAT airplane, uh, Birchwood. So I want you to watch squaring up. You tend to fly like this. I want you to square up a little bit and get in the middle. Okay. All right? Okay. For traffic cap, get to get No pressure no. here. Just, no. uh, okay. You can just fly it the way you want. <laughs> no, I want really to fly it the correct way. All right. You can start making your turn. You've got plenty of room. Traffic Cessna 21403 is entering left downwind, 02 left. Now well, let's go a little faster. We're way we out. Okay. Start backing us off. Go ahead and turn final. Dragon, first with traffic, Dragonfly 312 is on long final for two left. Goes up. Yep, like that. Traffic, 10 o'clock, 2 miles, 200 that feet way. above. Let's line up early. Okay, now square up. Pretty close, right there. Okay. Right. Hey, go ahead and back off on your power all the way. Go down with flaps. I'm gonna try full flap land time. Okay. Uh, yes. That's square to the right. Okay. Feel it. Yeah, I feel like I'm landing on the left side. Of the I know, but that's dead on. Okay. Okay. Okay, now you got a lot more drag, so you're going to have to add some power. That's good. Just feel that out. Let's get back off. Oh. Get slow. That was not Yeah, <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that's the way they look, unless you're First just traffic, right on. Gotcha. Three, okay. Turning left base, zero two left. There you go. Just like that. I've got a lot of hours in these, so it's a really quirky airplane. You're doing really good. Yeah, okay. Best student I've ever had. Really? Seriously. Oh, okay. you can bounce really bad in this airplane. Okay. So at least you're well, I'm looking back. for having uh, less than 100 hours. <laughs> Three turning final, zero two left, Birchwood. Birchwood traffic, Dragonfly 312, 
is uh, running out of the, uh, running to the north, leaving the pattern to the north, and we'll make a right turn to run back south over the highway. All right, it's your airplane. So what what made you want to uh, have this airplane? Um, I wanted a big Super Cup. Okay. And there wasn't really anything out there. You could do a PA-14, but I needed six seats, really, for some of the stuff that I do. So I wanted to be able to take all the family out uh -huh. to Santa on one trip. Got it. And yet have the performance of a Cub. Well, and be able to be on skis and all of that stuff, right? Right, right. Two one four zero three final for twist. Can't believe this is my last day. <laughs> well, you've done a lot. Yeah. This is traffic. Kind of amazing. Turn it down with me. Zero two left. I have a feeling this won't be your last time at Merrill. Oh, it won't be. <laughs>